to today announce that we have awarded three contracts to UK firms to produce and trial advanced laser weapons. UK inching closer to deploying first 50 kilowatt laser weapon. The UK Ministry of Defense has announced that its military is a step closer to fielding its first ever 50 kilowatt laser weapon. The announcement comes as the Defense Science and Technology Laboratory, abbreviated DSTL, wrapped up the maiden long-range trial of its Dragonfire high-energy laser. During the live fire test in November 2022, the system successfully neutralized a drone positioned 2 miles, or 3.2 kilometers away using its solid-state, transparent laser. DSTL officials described how tests had focused on engaging line-of-sight targets at various ranges, even during heavy rain. Launched in 2017, the UK's Dragonfire laser program is intended to be a long-range answer to incoming threats, a way to defeat projectiles and other air threats in mid-air through the concentrated power of intense light. This advanced laser can also strike small targets many miles away. A laser-directed energy weapon demonstrator that we've been building in order to prove the technology around laser weapons to show that they're genuinely practicable technology for delivering um, weapon systems. In the future, the plan is for this laser to be able to scale fire power levels, likely letting the user increase or decrease power to match the target. That saves energy, while ensuring the laser can defeat tougher targets when they exist. That makes Dragon Fire, like other laser weapons, a modern solution to a modern threat. It's a way to stop flying robots and uncrewed enemies, protecting humans from inanimate attackers. Like most laser weapons, it is a composite technology a sum of multiple systems put together into one more functional package. This included controls and image processing from defense contractor MBDA, a beam directory to track and point at targets made by defense contractor Leonardo, and a 50 kilowatt laser built by Kinetic. To develop the laser, the Ministry of Defense and Industry have spent around 100 million pounds, or roughly $118 million. Laser weapons are heavily front-loaded on cost, with the research and development expense in the name of creating a weapon that can destroy targets cheaply, relative to using high-caliber bullets, rockets, or missiles instead. This super technology could provide the basis for a number of future weapon systems. The Dragon Fire project is running in parallel and closely connected to other defense programs including the Novel Weapons Program. In 2021, the Ministry of Defense has awarded three contracts worth around £72.5 million to UK industry to produce advanced laser and radio frequency demonstrators as part of the Novel Weapons Program. Known collectively as directed energy weapons, these next-generation technologies could revolutionize the battlefield and reduce the risk of collateral damage. The systems are powered by electricity and operate without ammunition, significantly reducing operating costs, increasing platform endurance and providing unprecedented offensive and defensive flexibility to personnel on the front line. Awarded to consortia headed by Thales and Raytheon UK, the four-year contracts will create at least 49 new jobs and sustain 249 jobs. DSTL is also engaged in a variety of additional directed energy weapon efforts as part of the Ministry of Defense's Novel Weapons Program. Concepts include the integration of high-energy laser technologies on board a Royal Navy Type 23 frigate as well as a British Army Wolfhound armored vehicle both for counter-unmanned aerial system missions.
The first laser will undergo user testing on board a Royal Navy Type 23 frigate by detecting, tracking, engaging and countering unmanned aerial vehicles. Whilst the British Army's Wolfhound armored vehicle will host a laser demonstrator that will investigate capability against unmanned aerial vehicle and other air threats. The radio frequency demonstrator will also be used by the British Army, hosted on a MAN SV truck to detect and track a variety of air, land, and sea targets. This will create around 30 new jobs at Thales in Belfast, Northern Ireland. These innovative capabilities will be integrated onto existing platforms for the Royal Navy and British Army and will undergo user experimentation from 2023 to 2025. The experimentation will focus on operation and maintenance of these new systems and will provide invaluable knowledge, information and experience to assess whether directed energy weapons can be fully embedded on other defense assets in the future. These technologies have the potential to revolutionize the future battlefield for our armed forces, enabling the prosecution of new targets in the land, sea, and air domains, and allowing commanders to meet mission objectives in new ways. Meanwhile, on August 30th, Rheinmetall also conducted the first live firing of its own high-energy laser from a German F-124 frigate to support counter-unmanned aerial system capability. The solution was developed by Germany's High Energy Laser Naval Demonstrator Working Group, which features MBDA Deutschland and Rheinmetall Waffe munition. Those tests are scheduled to run through middle of 2023. It is said that life reflects art and from the sci-fi of Star Wars and Star Trek to the amazing Apollo missions of the late 60s and 70s, we have all been obsessed with the possible futures that it shows us. Well now a little bit of that promised future is nearly upon us as science fiction becomes science fact. For centuries since the invention of the gunpowder weapons have not changed that much. They use an explosion contained within a cylinder to fire a projectile and hopefully hit the target. As technology advanced it pretty much stayed the same. Improvements in targeting and range meant that weapons became more accurate at a greater distance. While this is all still true and conventional weapons continue to be improved and refined, an announcement by the Ministry of Defense has changed everything. 